Welcome back, everybody. By golly, we've got a new air traffic control simulator. I'm going to probably refer to it as a game periodically. Some would call it a simulator, whatever the case may be. This happens like once a decade at this point, so I simply had to get out here and talk about it. Man, for anybody new to the channel, I'm a real pilot and former air traffic controller. I worked tower and terminal radar at a large airport in the United States. Uh, this is... Uh, this is Tower Simulator 3, and it's from the same people who made Tower 3D Pro. Now, I'm just doing a quick look at it here just for some information, but man, we've got a lot to talk about. And then I'll do just a little bit of controlling with what I've got going on out here. But uh, just to keep things clear, I've got a lot of Tower 3D Pro videos over on the channel, and I'll link a playlist, uh, my air traffic control playlist in the pinned comment. You can already tell, I mean, we've got like, visibility like we can just kind of look around a little bit more here and uh you know full motion control on on the camera here this aircraft's about to start going here we'll get this saint thomas ground 320 mike romeo ready to taxi look at that we could just move all this stuff everywhere uh it's like wasdy controls and then shift to kind of go faster but my gosh this looks so much better than it did before now, I've got uh, one aircraft down here wanting to go. This is the one that just called me. 320 Mike Romeo, which... Random tail number flying here out of St. Thomas in like an all-white aircraft. That is definitely a drug smuggler plane right there, by golly. And look at this! I've got a heckin' Cessna down here ready to go. They even got the engine sound and everything. Now you can barely see them from the tower. Um, but, uh, we've got that. So, anyway, let me get back to tower view here. We'll talk more about this in just a second. I gotta get a couple departures out of here. Now, I'm gonna use my F, F2 button here to zoom in. Let's see here. Denali 812, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Denali 812. November 320, Mike Romeo, runway 28. Runway 28, 320, Mike Romeo. Okay, we've got an arrival coming in here. Uh, Blue Sands or something like that. What was that sand something? Hang on, I need to look. Oh, they don't actually give me the name. Let's see here. I forget what, I forget what this call sign is. Well, you can hear the sound in the background there. That would be a... Uh, strip printing out let's see here white white sands i think it's white sands white sands 550 runway 28 cleared to land runway 28 cleared to land white sand 550 so there goes the cessna there's white sand on final coming in all right cessna's out of there no problem and we do even have data strips here we can look at. We'll talk more about this little setup I've got going on in front of me here in just a second. I'll be honest with you, I kind of miss, I don't think that I can lock my, my camera view just on the aircraft that I'm talking to like you could in Tower 3D Pro. I kind of I kind of miss it. Um, okay, let's see here. Strips, what is F4? Nope, F5. We'll talk more about that other thing here in just a second. Okay, Denali 812, we'll make sure that they popped up on the uh, departure sh uh, departure radar appropriately here. Oh, come on now. What do I need to do? I can't, no. All right, well, we'll have to move. There we go. Denali 812, contact departure. Roger. Good day. My gosh. Floating down the runway. Big old turboprop here. We can, of course, go up higher a little bit. Oh my gosh. You're not, you didn't even touch down until like here. You're not going to get stopped by there. All right. Well, there were no survivors on that one. Let me just hit F1 again here. There we go. Um,. Who we got here? Oh, I already forgot the... Latitude 1630, runway 28, line up and wait. 
I'm runway two eight. Line up and wait. Latitude one six three zero. I'm rusty on these call signs. Okay, let's see here. So the strips down here. This is really interesting. You you can finally like kind of move them around a little bit. Um, and this one's gone, so we're just gonna trash it. Denali's gone. Latitude no. Uh, White Sands has landed. Let's make sure they're off the runway here, and then we can clear. Yep. All right, White Sands, where are you going? White Sands, 550, taxi to the ramp. Taxi to ramp. White Sands, 550. Okay. Now, we always want to do a visual scan, particularly now that we have the ability. We want to scan the runway, make sure there's no airport vehicle that got out on there. No wild animals, no beanbag chairs, nothing strange. All right. Latitude, what was it? 1630. Latitude 1630, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Latitude 1630. That's exactly how I do it. I'd literally have the strip in my hand and I would be looking down the length of the runway as I cleared the aircraft for takeoff. Something not quite right sounding about those engines, but that's okay. How far are they gonna go? Where are you gonna rotate? You're running out of runway! Whew! Alright. They made it. Thank goodness. Then we'll wait to make sure that they pop up, and then we will be good to go. November 320 Mike Romeo, runway 28. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Yeah. Runway two eight cleared for immediate takeoff. They'll let you do immediate takeoffs zero, now. Mike Romeo. We're gonna make sure that Latitude's call sign popped up correctly on here, and then we'll give him till he's at a thousand feet. There we go, and we'll switch him. Latitude one six three zero contact departure. Roger. Good. Good day. Good. 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 Gotta be honest with you, I like a lot of the quality of life stuff that they did here. Um, I'm sure that me kind of like clicking around on the screen, you know, waiting for these aircraft to go is a little bit strange, but having the ability to clear for an immediate takeoff is a big deal. They used to, they'd stop on the end of the runway. You'd have traffic on like a half mile final and they'd stop and think about life for a little while and then they'd finally roll. All right, good. Drug smugglers, drug smugglers getting out of here. They're unmarked. Unmarked white aircraft. I controlled a few uh, Justice aircraft from time to time. Oop, our guy's too short. Hang on. There we go. They were like prisoner. It was like Con Air sort of stuff, but they flew all white Brown, aircraft. Denali 1445 with information Foxtrot. Requesting push and start. Is Foxtrot current? Yes, Foxtrot is current. Good. Uh, what was it? Denali... Denali 1445, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground. 28 pushback approved. Denali 1445. November 320, Mike Romeo, contact departure. Roger. Good day, good sir. Uh, so the strips will just kind of pop up here. Hang on. So I'm switching between these screens using the F, F, I don't know what, F2 through mm, 6. And uh, the, the strips are pretty, really quite cool. Being able to kind of like walk around the tower is pretty cool. Uh, I always want to say Frontier, but that's not right. Field Air, maybe 8901. Anyway, we'll see when they call in. But... You, know, you can zoom way in on this. It gives you the taxiways, the runways. Obviously, we'll be doing this at like LAX. I mean, when I when I uh, load this up, when we kind of look at the screen here in a little bit, you'll see that the first place that I went to when I when I first turned this on was LAX, just to make sure that it worked. But uh, man, this is really pretty cool. You can switch your console if you want to. At least when I worked, uh, you'd have like this radar screen would be kind of up hanging in a corner somewhere. So you could be literally out walking around, not necessarily behind your your uh, your console and, you know, looking for the traffic, making sure they're ready to go. What is this guy? St. Thomas Ground. Denali 1445 ready to taxi. I bet you'd like that Denali. We're not doing it. 
Denali 1445, runway 28. Runway 28, Denali 1445. You guys gonna get going? Sounding pretty quiet right now. Yeah, I don't know. All right, well, I mean, it's still early. The game literally launched today, so, you know. Oh, here we go. This is the one that just came in and landed. Engines are, or props are still spinning. St. Thomas Tower, field air 89001 on final 28. You would not report being on final when you're on a 15 mile <laughs> initial approach. Uh, field air 89001, St. Thomas Tower, runway 28, continue. I never clear anybody until they're 10 miles or closer from the runway. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, so just out here, we got a couple of, uh, couple of turbo props, uh, ATR, I want to say ATR 72. Ooh, by golly, by golly. You definitely want to have those props not spinning when you start letting people out. I mean, it's just, you're just asking for, you know, gore. Somebody's going to have to clean that up, you know? And then we do also have the Cessnas, which maybe it was just the way that I played Tower 3D Pro. I never ran into general aviation aircraft because I was only doing the big airports. But, uh, man, this is really cool. So, yeah, be sure to uh, stick around and, and kind of hit the, uh, you know, subscribe, like, all that sort of thing. Let me know about your favorite uh, airport for air traffic control stuff. Oh, and, man, uh, ATC Pro, that uh, radar sim that I do. I, I need to get back to that. That's a lot of fun. Um, but I'm going to definitely be doing more videos about this. And since it has what seems to be more simple multiplayer, maybe uh, we'll be able to do like some multiplayer with uh, some other people who do this, who, who play this game. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. We are on 1X. They are, they are taxiing fast, by golly. You guys going to stop? Oh, there's the other aircraft out there. Can you do it, Denali? I'm not even going to check the radar separation. I think you got this. I forgot their call sign, though. Hang on. What was your call sign? Nope. Denali 1445. Okay. Let's get back out here. Denali 1445, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. I'm not giving them the immediate. Let's see how runway this works. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Oh, we got a six... Denali 1445. Six mile final. We should be just fine. Just depends on how far out they are. Well, how, how fast they're going, rather. Yeah. Watch how slow they go around this. Field air 8901, runway 28, cleared to land. Oops. Was it? Yeah. Field air 8901. Okay. Field air 8901, runway 28, cleared to land. Look at that. Look at how long they just sit there. Oof. Runway 28 cleared to land. Field yeah, air 8901. We got separation for days, by golly. If anything, those aircraft are not even close enough together. I'm not I'm not demonstrating my worth as an air traffic controller by making sure the planes don't hit by that much, okay? Job security here. I need them to be closer. This is ridiculous. Hang on, can we go can we go meet this guy? How far out can we get? Yep, all right. We are <laughs> we are limited with the center line of the furthest most taxiway. I mean, you know, St. Thomas wants to get serious about air traffic. They need they need a bigger control tower. They need to be up here. They need to be up here managing all this stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Field air uh cleared to land. That's good. Yep. Oh yeah, so we still ended up with about three mile three and a half, four miles there. Oh, that's good. Denali 1445, contact departure. Roger. Good day. Good day to you, good sir. Okay, you know what? We'll end this one here. Let's go ahead and jump back to the menu. I mean, just some really cool functionality that they've added, and they've made it so that you can... Like while I'm out here cruising around, I can I can add like uh, I can add the radar screens, kind of like I had uh, a little bit more. And that the the white is, you know, our field of our cone of vision, helpful with the view a little bit. Um, pretty neat stuff there. Oh, that's not what I wanted. 
by golly. Um, and we'll just, we'll close that one. Um, but man, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, the, the voices, you know, they're, uh, auto generated. It's done by something called like acapella group. And I'll tell you that I offered, uh, I offered, uh, for this developer to kind of like help with the voices and whatnot. And they, they declined. So you can, you can look forward to the sultry Nodak voice pack, uh, in the future. Twenty nine ninety nine US dollars, undoubtedly. <laughs> but then, you know, you'll get like St. Thomas Tower, Field Air, 8901 with you. 10 mile final. It's going to be great. Okay. They've landed. Let's jump back here to the menu for a second to uh, check out some kind of cool stuff. All right. Well, I did my, my first thing that I did was at LAX. Um, they have a career mode. They have like, you know, just work these, um, work these and then you kind of level up. You know, it starts you with some relatively light traffic and, and kind of moves up from there. That's pretty cool. This These types of game need that sort of thing. There's, of course, also quick play. These are the four airports that are in the game right now, kind of at launch. St. Thomas, where I just was, Raleigh. Uh, Los Angeles and then Queens. By the way, if you do pick this up, um, you know, you select an airport, these are the different types of aircraft that may be landing. So if I want to take all of my, like, I don't know, turboprops and cargo aircraft, and I want them to be landing on 2-2, but I want, um, we'll just, oh, here we'll do turboprops and cargo only. Um, but then I want everything else landing on one three, you know, just hypothetically. That's that's what all this stuff is. It's not very well described right now, but they're working on it. I mean, it just came out, so it's exciting. Um, and then multiplayer. I mean, this looks a lot more user friendly. You know, set up a room name, join with a password, and you know, just do just just do it. So hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, multiplayer with some other people who actually play this. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I'll do some longer videos in the future, but uh, let me know what you'd like to see. You know, um, LAX, uh, obviously, LaGuardia, Raleigh. You know, I'll probably do some of this stuff with bad weather, too. I mean, now that the graphics are so much better, man, it's just, it's, it's so exciting. Uh, I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are, too. Thanks for watching.